system for today's live stream. So hello, 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 everyone. Hope you all are having a fantastic Monday. We hope this is live and we're super excited to hang out with you guys. So in today's video, we have a really fun spin on a reverse canvas. Again, this is a lag. We don't know. The, it, oh, here oh, we are. are. Yay. All right, guys. So in today's video, we are making this amazing new spin on reverse canvas. You are not going to believe what we're using for today's project. We have, <clears throat> wait for it, chalkboard paint. And what I realized is we don't have any chalk to test it out and oh, to here, I'll give you some. condition it. I got yeah, you. I'm not going, I have terrible handwriting. So I will not be writing on said chalk, but I will teach you guys how to condition the chalk because that is very important for you to have effortless projects. These are just chalk pens. Oh. But well, that's, that could make it cute. Well, I, my like handwriting's not making nothing cute, Rachel. Okay, we know that. Okay. Um, so what I would recommend is for you guys to have some chalk to condition this if you're going to plan on using chalk with it. You always have to condition your chalkboard. You always must condition your chalkboard as well as when you're using canvas to create your own chalkboard. Um, it's super, super fun. So as you guys are tuning in, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on. In today's video, we are featuring cut files from our home collection. So we absolutely adore our home collection and it is so much fun. We're using iron on today. We are making a reverse canvas. So throw up those hearts if you love reverse canvas. If you have never been able to make a reverse canvas, you were in for a treat today. I'm sure there's many of you that have watched one of our past reverse canvas videos. Yeah, and maybe you're nervous <clears throat> about making it or you think it's a little difficult. I promise it's so easy. It's great for beginners. Yeah. It's a fun little project and you guys will love it. Yeah, so it's definitely going to be a lot of fun doing this chalkboard reverse canvas. And you're going to love using iron-on on a chalkboard reverse canvas. We are making this as a live. So you guys know we love to test the limits. We love to try new things. And what that means is that we are going to try to make this whole project start to finish in probably under an hour, which is really interesting and fun. Um, so we have our heat embossing gun to fasten up the process of painting and things like that. Yeah. It's going to be really good. Mm -hmm. Before we jump into it, I want some paper towel. But Rachel, who all is tuning in to hang out with us today? We already have 123 <clears throat> viewers. Hey guys, People happy Monday. People are giving Monday. us so many beautiful heart Yay. emojis. People are saying they love your hair. They're saying where they're visiting from. Oh, we've got Kentucky, Ohio, Florida, Texas, Alaska, Houston, Idaho. Wow. We've got people from everywhere. Today. Everywhere, it sounds like. So, guys, um, first of all, it's National Craft Month. Who is excited? The first Monday of National Craft Month. We are having so much fun. We have so many surprises in store. This month, we're celebrating nine years on YouTube. We just hit 59,000 YouTube subscribers. So I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're a brand new viewer, I just want to welcome you to our crafty community. And I want to let you guys know we have 20% off for National Craft Month. We have been running a fun promotion for quite some time, but that is because we want to share our membership with as many crafters as possible. And we were gonna end the sale, <laughs> but I think National Craft Month crept up on us. Oh my gosh. It came out it of nowhere and Tanner was like, listen, these crafty people need to get crafty. They need their 20% off. So we're gonna extend it for a while for you guys. Yeah. For National Craft Month. Because we wanna get everyone crafty. And yeah. I think it's almost a proven fact that our members get more craftier than not being a member. Uh, yeah. We have so much inspiration, so many cut files, so many fonts for yearly members. So again, if you're considering membership that year, you're going to get fonts, courses, cut files for a whole year at 20% off next year. You'll be grandfathered in for that same rate. It's incredible. So we're super excited to extend that to you guys. It's in the first link down below. Hopefully I don't lose my voice today. I've had a very sore throat for quite some time, <clears throat> but we're just pushing through. So I see lots of hearts, which so I think represents that we love reverse canvases. Yes, definitely. Are there anyone out there that's never made a reverse canvas? Let us know. Let I us haven't know. heard anybody yet. Yeah. They're all just giving us some love. As you can see, we have a ton of heart emojis here. I love they it. all just love these reverse canvases. And I think it's neat because... You can do so much with a canvas anyways, but with reverse canvases, yeah. it gives you even more freedom, you know? So, yes. If you have not ever made a reverse canvas, you can see here, traditional canvas you get at the craft store like Michael's. We're going to turn it into something more along the lines of this. So we're really making it reverse, um, and we're going to walk you through step by step of this process. So if you're ready to get crafty, give me a thumbs up. Let me know, because we're just going to dive into it today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. It's Monday morning. I feel great. What's well, Monday afternoon? 
Monday morning's already gone. Oh, shh. We've been working hard today. So anyway, me and Rachel went to Target and we went to Michael's today and stocked up probably. Oh my gosh, I mean, guys. The <laughs> floor is covered. It's covered over here. Yeah. Craft supplies for days. So anyway. For Easter. Easter and spring. We have a new collection dropping next Tuesday. Rachel Get is pumped. super excited. Get I'm excited. Pumped. Tanner's like, we're going to release them the 12th to 15th of every month. And each month I'm like, 12th, 12th, 12th. 12th. <laughs> yes. I want to give it to you guys whenever I can. Yes. So, okay. I'm going to switch. Let's switch to this for a second camera yeah. and I'm going to zoom out. Sure. Just so that you guys can see what we're working with a little and bit Tanner, more. And Tanner, it's pouring in. People are pouring in. They have never made a reverse canvas. What? I can't, yes. A ton of people okay. have never made it. If you have never made a reverse canvas, go on your way home from work. Get you a canvas girl because tonight you're going to be blown away at how easy this project is. So I want to note that to make the reverse canvas, like just to go over supplies real quick, you need paint, you need like a paintbrush. You need your easy press vinyl, something like that. But the main supplies that are different than a Cricut project are right here. You have to have the canvas. You have to, are you fanning for me? No, I'm sorry. Oh, there was okay. a gnat in my okay, way. Okay, I just want to make sure. No, sorry. You want the canvas. You have to have the Cricut tool. You're going to see why. If you want to shop Cricut, use one of our shop Cricut links down below. I don't care if y'all have an exact one. I'll throw them away and get this. This is amazing. I give these to everyone because they're perfect. You want this arrow fastener staple gun. Go on the arrow fastener site and find this exact one. If you have any trouble with traditional staple guns, this is going to be game changer for you, okay? Next up, you're going to want multi-surface paint. Do not use regular acrylic paint if you are at the craft store. Get multi-surface. Or chalky, or something, chalky. something like that. <clears throat> now, you can use regular acrylic paint. We love regular acrylic paint, but for this project, One Coat Wonder, multi-surface. And then some type of pouncer for our chalk paint and you know something like that so super super fun that's only traditional supplies that you may not already have or things like that and we're getting a few questions tanner well, what are they okay let's yeah. answer a couple questions okay here we go uh jennifer has asked this two or three times hey, so we jennifer. will address this sorry jennifer she said rachel can you answer this question i'm wondering i just joined for a month right now and it said i would get 20 percent off but i did not get it um so if you are not sure if you got 20 percent off send us an email Hi at makersgonnalearn.com. Here in the chat box on a craft video is not the best way to serve our members. So we have a customer service team working Monday, um, Sunday to Sunday really, on handling your customer inquiries. So please send us an email and we will get back to you. Our team works 8 a.m. Eastern to 4 p.m. Eastern. So yeah. And Eastern. Claire says... Uh, is is this like the ones that come in three packs? And they are. These little ones, yeah. they come in three packs, five packs. We guys, we've actually been going to five below Ooh. to get some canvases that we use good for deals. these reverse canvases. It is such good deals. Like two packs for five bucks. And listen. Two fifty a canvas. Can't it's, beat it. It's awesome. Yeah. It's super cool. And then um, let's see. Some people are saying, what did you make? Where did we get the canvases? Yeah, you. so we made this into a reverse canvas. We're using chalkboard paint to turn the verse of the week into an interchangeable verse of the week that you're actually creating a chalkboard on a canvas, which, which is super new, super different than what we've traditionally been able to create. So we're super excited to share with you the A to Z process in today's video. And you can, like Rachel was saying, you can get these canvases at the craft store at Five Below. I found them at some Dollar Trees and things like that too, smaller versions. Um, but yeah, you can get them on sale. There's lots of different um, possibilities to make a reverse canvas. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's all we have for now, so we can <clears throat> awesome. get crafty. Awesome. Well, let's get crafty. So first things first with this reverse canvas, we just need to cut off these edges. Now, notice I am not taking in some videos. Whoops, I'm getting too close to the edge. Some videos you'll see people using pliers and yes. individually taking out. I Miss just, Miss Elena <clears throat> already commented and said, "Oh." I don't know what the, oh, oh it's no, my phone. Your phone right? She said, I started one and I could not remove the staples and then I learned the trick to cut around them. So that's why I highly recommend this amazing um technique. Technique. Yes. I am going to literally slit my finger before this video is over. Oh god. Did you see how I'm no, applying you, so much pressure? Well, yeah, and I then see it that. just like came off the table. So you don't let's be have careful. to, Tanner. That you knife don't. is sharp. You don't. But maybe we should have changed the blade. I don't know. Let's look. Yeah, maybe. Oh, no, we're, we're cut through. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you just want to cut around these staples. Now, these staples are pretty close to the edge, so be careful. Um, they're not always like that, so just FYI. Like, this side is really good. 
So anyway, we're just cutting through. And that's probably with the cheaper ones, they'll be a little bit less yeah, you never know. carefully made, you know. You but it's definitely know. easier to do this than get you pliers. Oh my gosh, trying to get pliers dig everyone out. and take each staple out is unreal. So yeah. now what we're going to do is kind of go around the canvas and <clears throat> you just kind of want to pull it. So as you can see here, here's a good piece. Um, you don't have to be perfect with this because again, it'll be on the back. Yeah, and then you'll trim it afterwards. So like this yeah. whole canvas, you'll have some, you know, overlap that you'll just trim off right the end. so as you can see here we're just pulling this off and i've not seen too many people making reverse canvases recently so i'm kind of excited to do this project we made yeah. one and this is Christmas. a good spin on one too it's not yeah. just your usual reverse canvas but if there's newbies out there that's never heard of reverse canvas we're super excited but i'm excited because all of our friends that always hang out with us on live um, can get a new spin on it too. Yeah, and we do have some people commenting, Tanner, saying that the Cricut True Control Knife is a game changer for them as well. Yay! I'm glad you all agree. We love this thing. It's the best. It's the best. And this would also be a super fun project with the chalkboard and the reverse canvas sign. You could do this uh, menu board like we did um, a couple of weeks ago with our um, awesome organization oh or our fonts and things so like that. Fun. This would be anything that you want to chalkboard, you can use this for, which is yeah. a great spin on it. So as you can see here, I'm just pulling it out. This one is a little bit different than some of the ones. Like these edges are just so close. And you want to be a little bit more careful. But that's the only like thing about this. So I can kind of go in at a corner. And yeah. as you can see, it won't really affect our project. Um, so yeah, we're just going to pull this. And we have a good question. Um, hey. Will this work for all size canvases? And is there a size you would recommend? Ooh, I love this size. You know, this is such a great size. You know, Rachel pre-made this one and it's a little bit smaller. So I think both of these are really great. It's honestly up to you. And we haven't found any canvases that don't really work for this. Like, believe it or not, the vast majority of canvases work really well for this project, which we really love. So. We're done with the craft knife for now. We will use this at the end. So put that lid back on, place it in the Cricut, something like that. So now, if you're brand new, this is essentially what we're doing. Yep. We are reversing it. Yeah. And it's crazy that underneath the canvas, it's this beautiful the frame, frame looks so beautiful. I know. I love it. So we'll be painting this and we're going to use our chalkboard paint right here and paint this as well. So let's flatten this out just like so. And since we are going to be easy pressing this um, today, like during the live, after we paint it, we are going to do some really fun tips and tricks to fasten this process up. So we're using a pouncer today. We have a clear plate, Rachel got ready for me, love her. Um, we're using folk art chalkboard paint, which I love. This is like one of the best, like they have lots of these. It is, um, and it dries mm. really evenly if you're using a pouncer or anything like that. It's, it's a one coat wonder most definitely, yeah, it's, it's I, awesome. Rachel, this is a brand new one you got me. Oh, is it? Yeah. I thought I grabbed the one I used. I'm sorry, it's I would okay. have opened it for no you. No worries, we will open this bad boy up. So, okay. And Tanner, tell them how many three for 10 t-shirts we got today at Michael's. Um, I tell we, them. I think we got nine. Or, or 12. Oh, 12. Easy. We got 12. Like half a buggy for we were We were just like, oh, this is cute. Getting it in three sizes. They had some really good <coughs> colors. They had really good colors. They did have some really good colors. I was impressed. I was yeah, super me too. impressed. Super impressed. So there's this like clear liner of paint that had dried. So I'm just like peeling this up. And again, sorry. I thought it was top. used. Oh my gosh, Rachel. It's not your fault. It's mine. I should have checked too. Oh, it's your fault. Yeah, it's all I'll you. I'll take credit. All you. I'm cleaning the Cricut knife because I want it to be it's perfect. It's precious. We don't have a million blades. <laughs> we do not. Um, so, okay. I'm going to get some paper towel to clean that up. And then we can put the lid back on it. Yay. Yes. And guys, let us know how your success has been doing reverse canvases. Did you make the mistake of trying to use pliers? Yeah. Uh, have you tried know. this chalkboard method? What's been your favorite color? Let, it, let us know how you guys have been liking these reverse canvases. Definitely. So I'm going to, before I get paint on my favorite hoodie, which we were talking about last week, I wear or it all the, the table. time. Or the table. I'm going to put that piece of paper towel away. As well as this one. I think every time Tanner goes to Ikea, he's going to be ordering a new tabletop. Oh, yeah. For sure. There's people putting holes in my tabletop. But anyway, me. we're still waiting for the person to mm -hmm. fess up. Yeah. So, okay. Now we have the paint in a glob. Now, traditionally, when you are painting, you're going to just, like, take it and be like, oh, let's Oh, go. Lord. No. You want to take it and then dab like once or twice yep. to get that even coverage. I don't know if you all can tell this is very even. So what we're going to do now is make sure that canvas is flat and we're just going to go in and pounce this. Now with chalkboard paint, 
I'm going to recommend two coats for sure. Two light coats, definitely. Two light coats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So dab and then dab the excess off and just go in for it. Notice this is a very light coat, but we're still covering everything and I'm getting as close to the edge as possible. So just like so. So Rachel, if there, we have friends just tuning in, it is National Craft Month, which we're so excited to get crafty with Heck you guys. yeah, it is. If you all have considered membership, we still have 20% um, off kicked off for March as well for National Craft Month. So be sure to use that first link down below and get 20% off on your year membership, monthly or six months. A great excuse to try out our membership community to, on National Craft Month. Hello. Such we a love National time. Craft Month. We have it's a new here. collection of cut falls launching next Tuesday. Yes, yeah, all spring and oh, Easter. Oh, you're giving sneak peeks now. Okay. Well, it's spring and Easter. They know that it's probably spring and Easter, yeah. you know, because it's spring and Easter time. But you all have no idea how amazing these cut falls are. From last year's Easter and spring, they're different and they're awesome because we, we want to give you last year's spring and Easter, of course, which... We're definitely going to be using this year as well because those, They're still those amazing. cut files are amazing. Yeah. But we're going to give you some new ideas, a couple new springy and uh, eastery type files that you can use in different ways than the files we gave you last year. So you guys are going to have like a total of like 60, 70 Easter and spring files to go nuts with this year. And it's going to be so awesome. Which are amazing. And yeah. we curate these guys. We curate the projects, the files, so you don't just have, you know, the biggest thing that I saw in the industry was happening was that just a bunch of graphic designers were trying to come out with files for crafters, but they weren't crafters. Yeah. So you really need, you know, someone like us that's a crafter working with designers to say, we need this, we need that. You know, listening to you guys, I want to let you all know that over the weekend, I sent Rachel three to five emails of comments and requests from Instagram or Facebook or YouTube where people were saying, Tanner, can you make a video on this? A video we have coming up is that someone commented, can you teach us how to put vinyl on um, balloons? So we're going to be doing a video on how to make, um, put vinyl on balloons for you guys because yeah. it's pretty easy. Yeah, that's <clears> what <throat> we're here for, guys. What you want, we try and give you all. So be leaving what you want to see, you know, in the comments. Send us messages, send us emails about what you guys want to see because we're here to help you all get crafty. Definitely. And we're having a bunch of questions, Tanner. Well, let's talk about so, it because i got a lot of coats to do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Okay, let's see. Um, Jackie says, why is the pouncer better than a foam brush? Look at how even this coat is going It is. On. Look at the coverage. There's no, there's no smearing. There's nope. no like you know, moving paint And it along. dries perfectly. Like it doesn't, very you know, there's no globs anywhere or anything like that. And let's see here. Uh, okay, Jenny says, and this would be another uh, good example of what you would want to email us because yes. this is not the best place to give customer service. But Tanner can probably answer this one yeah. pretty quickly. Hey. Jenny says, hey, I Jenny. signed up for the membership when it was not on sale. Can I go right now and pay for another year and get 20% off from now yes. on? Yes, yes. You are more than welcome to take advantage of that. It's a great time to activate it, but also send us an email after you take advantage of 20% off so we can cancel out that full price billing cycle and move you over to this new 20% off plan. That's a great question. Yeah. So yeah, go for it. Just send us an email. Let us know what's up so we can handle the back end for and you. And let's see here. Uh, Brittany says she just joined and she's wondering Welcome. why you're not using a paintbrush. Ooh, well, we just talked about it. Welcome to the community, by the way. Um, second of all, the pouncer is giving us very even coverage. And remember, guys, this is canvas. So brushing, although you can pounce with a foam brush too, if you don't have a pouncer, the foam brush, you're yeah. going to still get great yeah. results. We love the pouncer, though. We love the pouncer, but we're also like self-proclaimed craft experts. Not really but um, we feel like we are. Yeah. So we have all kinds of random tools like the pouncer that we found to work better for covering canvas. Yeah. Um, so it's really nice to give that even coat. Um, for today's video, I'm going to probably just do one coat for the sake of time. Yeah, I'm sure it'll look great. It's and two look light great. coats will look fine as well. Yeah, this got two light coats and you see how great it looks. Yeah. Um, but the, I would recommend two light coats so that it works just yeah. as Better. Letting a couple hours to dry in between just to be safe and things like that. But and we'll these pouncers, uh, Renee, these pouncers can be found at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, any of your craft stores that are yeah. local. 
And uh, let's see. Here. So we're going to let that coat dry. And all mm -hmm. we're going to do now is paint our frame. Um, frame. And if you don't have pouncers, we also like to use our awesome um, makeup, makeup sponges, sponges. Yeah. Which I love. But I think, Rachel, mm -hmm. I know you got this out for me, but I think I want to use a paintbrush. Is there okay. a reason you have this out? For I, this. That's what I used. It looks great. It did. It did well. If it you want to use really a paintbrush, great. you totally I'm gonna can. I'm going to use a paintbrush just because I think it'll be quicker. Sure, use a paintbrush. Um, so if you guys have ever wondered about our craft supplies, we love these IKEA bins, and we, we have them of, all in bins. All we organized. organize like paintbrushes in one bin. So I'm going to go through and find us a nice little paintbrush. Sure. Oh, Rachel, we haven't used this paintbrush in a long time. Okay, let's do it. <clears throat> I love this one. Okay, so it's hard to find a good paintbrush, but the pouncer, this works really well. You can I, find those at the Dollar Tree, too. Packs of, like, 40 amazing. for a dollar. So we're using multi-surface paint today, which is one of my favorites. A little bit more expensive, yes, but still amazing. And, Tanner, before we get to painting, hey. let's answer this pre this question that Miss Brittany asked. Hey, Brittany. What does the membership get you? Girl, what does the membership get you? We, we can answer this that. This is a great question. So little little promotion you remember guys these are free videos so if you ever be like oh my gosh an ad these are free um so real quick Brittany, thank you so much for asking and thank you for 234 amazing crafters hanging out with us this afternoon you all are amazing they're ready to craft yes so Brittany, if you want to click this first link right down below you're going to get access to activate 20 percent off so just click that first link in the description and click open and you're gonna be able to learn all about the membership, okay? So we have 20% off during National Craft Month. Um, every single month we release a new collection of cut files. You get a free commercial use license. Um, you get monthly live streams, exclusive projects. Um, you get access to our amazing membership group on Facebook. We have over 2,300 amazing members, which are awesome. And our year membership, you're going to get access to over 80 fonts with over 80 more launching in April. Plus, you're getting $150 worth of bonus e-courses for absolutely free. So that's included in that year membership tier. So right now, it's normally $15.99 a month yearly, and the monthly is $19.99 a month. But these prices already have 20% off. So remember that. And on top of 20% off, you're going to get grandfathered in at that rate. Plus, plus, you're also getting um, the three months free compared to being a monthly member for a year. So I hope that answers your question. On top of that, for all of our members, we have access to our Cricut printable guide, which we love, which is really awesome, and all kinds of things like it. So we have lots of bonuses for you guys to enjoy with the membership. And if there's anyone in the membership that is in the chat, be sure to let us know and say what's up. Tell um, Brittany what she thinks about the membership. We would love for you guys to share your thoughts as Please well. Please tell me you mentioned <clears throat> the free commercial license. I mentioned the free commercial Did you? license. Good. But do you want to expand on that while I paint? Uh, I would what, love what to is a free commercial license? Well, guys, you see what we're making for you all today? Do you see how crafty we're getting? You can sell this and make money Using with the membership. Using our it doesn't matter what project you make. You can make mugs, t-shirts. If you use any one of their amazing files or fonts in any project, you can sell them for profit. And most times, memberships will give you a personal use license, meaning you can use them for your own, you, your family, nothing for profit. But look at Tanner getting so crafty. I love but, I love a paintbrush. Yes. Everybody's like, why aren't you using a paintbrush? I had to use it. Oh, and Elena's trying to give us some awesome links. I'll show these links, Elena. Uh, you yeah. work it, girl. So if you, yeah, the membership, if you want 20% off, it's in the description. Open that description up. Click that link. You can make it. money with this membership, guys. We it will pay for itself, and then you'll just get profit. We had an amazing member yesterday talk about a fifteen hundred dollar not yesterday pam yeah pam, two days ago mm -hmm. she like made fifteen hundred dollars making shirts for one of her children's uh, sports teams yeah awesome and using awesome. our fonts to make that happen so i cannot wait to see her pictures of that in the group i'm gonna have to ask her to share once that order's complete yeah because we're super happy for her being able to do i think she said like i don't know if it was 30 or 40 shirts but 35 yeah. i think <clears throat> there was a lot so Lots of great awesomeness, or that's how much she was selling them for. I'm not and sure. I think it was for like a fundraiser, which is just even more amazing. Yeah, you know, so if we it was love for that. Something like that. But yeah, so we love our membership. We love our members. We probably today, hopefully, fingers crossed, um, may have already hit it, but I think we'll hit 30 
400 members. So congratulations and welcome all of our new members. Um, we love our community and we yes. have such, I mean, me and Rachel have the best job ever just we getting do. to serve you guys with all kinds of new ideas. It's awesome. We were in Michael's today. Like, what would that, what would the ladies like? Let's yes, buy two of everything. Just friends. get a ton. We had, uh, we had a ton <clears throat> of stuff in that cart. Yes. And we're getting ready for the summit this coming weekend. So if you're a member and have a ticket to the craft summit, um, get excited. Our frame class is going to be mind blowing. We have re innovated how we create our wood frame project. Oh, guys, you all are going to die. So it's going to be really awesome to see our new tips and tricks because I don't know about you, but me and Rachel are not perfect when it comes to like sawing nope. and things like that. So we are like, well, what could we do if we're not always perfect? And that's what we did. So we came up with a new technique, new tutorial. Easy for to all follow, of you. <clears throat> super easy to do. You have a ton of creative freedom with it. It's, it's super cool. Yeah. So get excited for that if you're coming to the summit and you may have never built a sign, but you want to make more signs and you don't want to pay store prices because who can afford buying Michael's signs all day long? Yeah. Um, especially when they're not 50% off. Yeah. And especially unfinished. That yeah. means you just get all the freedom to really stain it how you want it or how you think uh, buyers would want it so you can right. sell it for profit. It, you have so many awesome um, options with these frames. Yes, really do. so we love And that. about the membership, uh, Christina says, the membership also gets you Starbucks occasionally. Oh, we treat our members often to Starbucks. I meant to post it on Valentine's Day, but I told you guys, like, I forgot. Um, so we ended up treating everyone to Starbucks. Well, not everyone. Um, what it is, is if you're a member and you are quick on your feet, I post first come, first serve, like, I love like a hundred bucks on a Starbucks gift card. And I say, here, treat yourself. Um, first come, first serve. And you get to use the Starbucks gift cards. Yeah, we but love. everybody's super nice about getting one item yeah. like we like. So they get a little coffee or a cake pop and let as many, as many members enjoy it as they can. Yes, and, and they last awesome. sometimes over 24 hours. They which do, I and that's because wonderful. you all are amazing. Yeah. And you just let everybody get a little piece of the pie, as they yeah. say. Yeah, there's only been like one time where someone accidentally like transferred the entire card on they're like mm, mine <laughs> yeah but other than that it's great yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's super super fun so okay so we're gonna let those dry for a real quick minute and then we're gonna heat set that um there's one little area you get it tanner I'm getting it you get i don't it. know if it was the lot or what but yeah i see like a little lot mm. But this is great for kids too. I know oh, I grew sure. up in what what's it what's called Sparkies. <laughs> so you go every week to your church and you uh, memorize new verses right. of the Bible, you know, and it just helps kids to memorize. I still right now know most of my Bible scripture uh, from uh, Sparkies. I love the Lord. it. Yeah. So this is great for kids to wake up in the morning and you can tell them to learn a new verse for the yeah. day, so that or verse for the week. And they can just go in there and write it down. Or like I said, menu boards mm -hmm. or reminders or appointments or anything like that. Just to, just to help you stay ahead of the game in your organization or in your life. Anything like that, this would be great for. And this awesome file is from our home collection. Yes. So here we go. We're going to jump in here. This is what we are making last week. So I'm going to X that out. Um, but if you go into Cricut Design Space, we're using an iPad today. And this is just like sixth generation, basic 32 gigabyte. Wi-Fi only iPad. People ask that all the time. You can get this on Amazon for like two ninety nine, which for all the things it does, like Rachel. Okay, yeah. It's I a know. pretty good price. But now hang on, Tanner. I'm mm. gonna flip it to you. Mm. Let's mm. all say goodbye mm. to Miss Peggy because Peggy, she later. was on lunch at work, but she's going back okay. right now so that she can take Saturday <laughs> off to join us for the summit. Yay, so Peggy. we can't wait to get crafty well, enjoy with you, work, Peggy. Peggy. See yes. You later. <laughs> Love it. All right. So we're going to just go ahead and click browse files. And I've already unzipped the file on our iZip app. Now we have a whole video teaching you guys how to use iPad and cut files if you're a member and you can find it on the YouTube channel as well. So we're gonna scroll down and find our home collection. So we're gonna open this right here. We're gonna click SVG and we're gonna find our verse of the week file. Tanner, you don't have any paint on your hands. I'm so impressed. Oh my gosh, right, stop, <laughs> stop. So we're gonna select verse of the week which for some reason, I think it's this fall. I'm not sure. SVG, yeah. So That's we're just, it. Uh, yeah. I just like to give like a phrase when I name it. And then here we go. 
just uploading right here. And Tanner, we have some darn good news for Miss Mary. What's going on with Mary? She How says, are you? I just bought a maker and I'm scared to use it. I've been watching all your videos and now feel confident. Can you tell me when you have another sale on your <gasps> yearly membership? Oh my gosh. What was her name? Mary? Mary. Mary, it is on sale right now for National Craft Month. Click the first link down below. You're going to see in big, bold red letters on that page get 20% off now for National Craft Month. So go over there, Mary. We are so, I wanna say a big congratulations on your maker and I am so excited that hopefully you'll choose us to help guide you with that year membership. It sounds like you already know why you need it. For over $150 worth of bonus courses, 80 plus fonts, access to our over 700 plus digital cut file library. Yes, our amazing yearly members get everything we have to offer. We hold nothing back nothing for our yearly back. members. You get everything we've everything. got. Everything. So. And Tanner, we have a bunch of people commenting uh, that they're new members and they don't hey. know what the summit is and they know it's coming up. Right. So they want to know all about that. So quick note about the summit before we get to cutting. Um, if you are interested in the summit, head over to your dashboard, okay? Click on your dashboard where you get your cut files, your fonts, your printables, things like that. There is a code, there's a button right there. If you want $50 off registration, typical tickets are $197. Our members get tickets for $147. Now the summit is two days of creating this Saturday and Sunday, March 9th and 10th. We have 10 classes, guys. 10 on Saturday, 10 on Sunday. Um, it's a whole virtual summit. We have so much fun. We had one in the fall with a huge success and turnout. Um, so we brought it back for the spring, which we're super excited about, which I love. And we have unlimited access to these classes. So you get the HD recordings afterwards. If you're busy this coming weekend, but you still are like, what? I want in at this special price. Each class ends up being just a little bit over $10 a class and each class is over an hour long. Yeah. So we have instructors like Carly Hall, director, um, works on education at Cricut. She's teaching us how to make amazing Cricut doormats. We have Rachel teaching us our spring decor. I'm teaching a sign class. We have a font 101 class with yours truly. Um, Courtney's teaching some amazing classes on sewing um, with your Cricut, of course. So we have lots of things going on over there. So many stuff, and it's not just good for people who are going to join or people who are going to be busy if you in want to just sit and enjoy it and oh you know you get them projects. forever because i have a problem of going to uh summit classes and things like that and being overwhelmed the first time i can't enjoy it really because i'm trying to take too many notes to learn all i can to get the best value out of the classes but you get these classes forever so you can yes. sit back and relax the first time if you want to and then get crafty the next time or the next time because you get them forever. And that, exactly. that's worth everything, guys, to have all these videos forever. And we had so many people get the supply list to, like, if they wanted to prep for the summit, feel like they're overwhelmed as a beginner. And we're like, no, guys, you are going to be able to master yes. it. Yes. Don't let overwhelm get the best of you. No, Tanner's advice is to pick one or two classes. Sorry if I cut you off before oh, totally I say fine. it. Totally fine. But to pick one or two classes you're super extra hopped up interested yeah, in. Yeah, card and making, get those. this, that. Exactly. And yeah. just get those projects, uh, all the supplies, so that you can follow along those. And then later on in the future, you have all those all videos the recordings. that you bought that you have earned. And you can yeah. watch those later and get craftier as your comfort level allows it. It's Definitely. super awesome. For newbies, for experienced crafters, it doesn't matter how advanced or not advanced you are. These are perfect for you. Yes. And the one thing I want to say is that... Um, I just want to let you all know that if you miss out on like not getting a ticket for the summit, all of these classes will be up for individual purchase, but the price goes from a little bit over $10 a class if you buy all 10, aka a ticket to the summit, um, or you can purchase one of these classes individually for $47. Yeah. So that's significantly more. Um, so that's just a FYI. I did post a link in the chat box, but you can also find that link for $50 off registration on the dashboard for members only. Yeah, so. and we're not trying to cheat you all with the $47. Some of course. people only want to take one class. Yeah. You know, if you want to take one class, we have those available to you, but yeah. it's definitely worth it if you want to step out of your comfort zone a little. Mm -hmm. Get to creative. Just, yes, to just pay we a little over $10 and take the entire summit. Get your feet wet, have fun with Tanner and Clearly me. Clearly, Peggy's for the working weekend. this week oh, so gosh. that she's already booked off her schedule. Yes. Um, for Saturday and Sunday. Peggy's working harder today to work 
to be to craftier crafty. on the weekend. Yeah. So if you have no plans this weekend, come join us. If you already are busy, no worries. You can still take advantage of that ticket. Yeah, and um, you also get your name, whether you're there or not, if you have a ticket, you get your name in all the we're giveaways, giving away all the some prizes. Machines. We're giving yes. away some surprises. Yeah. Um, so as long as you are a, uh, have a, a ticket, ticket holder, then you are in the running for it all. You don't exactly. miss a thing. So we love that. So let's go back and talk crafts. Thanks guys for asking about the summit. Super happy to talk about it because it is like down to the wire. Like you do not have a ticket. You need to get a ticket yes. like before Friday. There's like 15 seats left. We go are, get those. Yeah. It's getting short. We're, we're capping at like 250 or 275 um, for ticket holders. So anyway, we are right here with our verse of the week, which I absolutely love. Beautiful. Um, so we're going to size it for our frame. So what we can do, since it's still wet. And that's a beautiful yellow. I love, I love that bright yellow. yellow with that yeah. black. So we're going to just get our tape measure out. And we have about, you know, six inches, a little bit less than six inches. We'll probably do five and a half wide. For and Tanner, where is the, the link to the summit ticket? <clears throat> so it's, um, if you are a member, for members or. It's just, uh, Diana said, where do we get the tickets to the summit? Yes. So we posted a link right up in the chat box. It may have disappeared. I'll paste it one more time. Yep. And it is virtual. So it, it's in the comfort of your own home. You can uh, sit and be crafty with us for the weekend. You don't have to go anywhere or buy a plane ticket or buy a hotel stay. All you have to do is buy the ticket and have your device, your laptop, whatever, ready to get crafty for the weekend. Exactly. So this ball is pretty square, so we're going to make it a little bit more rectangular by sizing it um, down a little bit. But we're going to do five and a half. So do that. I'm going to do five point, yeah, five and a half. And then this right here is awesome. So lock that back. And you're going to see here, here's what we got. Super, super awesome. We're now going to click make it and we're going to click replace. And since we're using iron on today, we're using our mini easy press. We're going to make sure to mirror that. And then we're going to click continue. You always have to mirror iron on guys, no matter what project you're making. Right. If you're using iron on, hit the mirror button. Exactly. So we're going to set our material to iron on because we're using everyday iron on, which is awesome. And we're going to turn fast mode on because we've got to get crafty, guys, um, and more pressure. And then we are good to go on step three. So once you're good to go, we're using our light grip mat. Let's make sure this is down adhered really well. We're going to press the flashing Cricut button. And then while that's cutting, I'm going to use my heat embossing gun. If you do not have one, feel free to go ahead and use a hair dryer. This is really warm though, um, so it'll be great for- It's, a, it's very concentrated <clears throat> heat. Yes! Just wanna make sure this is going good. And it's not, it's not loud, you know? It's perfect, it's not loud. And Tanner, um, there is 10 classes for the summit, full 10 classes. And uh, Diana wants to know, do you have to be a member uh, in order to uh, get a summit ticket? You do not, you do not. So the regular price summit tickets um, are 197 So even if you got a monthly membership, you would be able to save $50 on registration. Yes, oh, and Diana loud. is already um, contemplating getting a membership. And Diana, if you do get a membership today, not only do you get 20% off of that membership, you get grandfathered in. And if you want to go ahead and get your summit ticket, once you become a member, you get $50 off of that ticket, which is super awesome. So that's definitely something to think about. And uh, what kind of black paint are we using? Guys, we're using chalkboard, chalkboard paint. And um, we had a question, it was a really good question. Jackie says, is there a difference between chalk paint and chalkboard paint? Yes, can you explain that? Yeah. I feel like they can't hear me with all this stuff Okay, going. sure, sure, sure. <laughs> so there is chalky finish paint that is just like it says, it's a chalky finish, it's very matte. It's honestly almost always a one coat wonder. It's amazing. We love chalk paint, it, or chalky finish paint. It's our favorite paint to use. I think on really anything, especially wood, I guess hands down, we love to use chalky paint. But chalk board paint is exactly what it sounds like. It's paint that you can actually write and you know use as a chalkboard. You cannot use chalky finish paint as a chalkboard because it's just not made that way. But chalkboard paint is made to dry and then be able to use with your chalk and your chalk pens and be wiped off and reused and recycled and things like that. But we, we love chalky finish paint. It's 10 out of 10 for us. This is dry. Is she dry, Tana? I hope you guys could hear Rachel because she was so passionate about sharing with you guys the difference between chalkboard paint, which we're using today, well, and I had chalky to, finish I have paint. To, I have to fill the gaps. I can't let this, 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 
I wow, just hope they can hear you. It's I just too hope amazing. they can hear you. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they could. Oh, oh trust gosh. me, we'd already be hearing it. These That's ladies true. and gentlemen are great at telling us if they can't hear us or not. So just answer us. Can you all hear us? <laughs> While Tanner's just drawn away. A hair dryer would be way louder than that. Really? Uh, yeah. I'll forget you're a guy sometimes and you never use hair dryers. Because I use hair dryers like I every forget day. you're a guy. No. <laughs> Quote you know of what, the day. You know what I mean. I, I do know that, what you mean. I it's very sad. You, use hair dry, you don't use hair dryers. Do you ever? Have you ever used a hair dryer? You know my dad used to sometimes. Like Isn't with, your dad bald? Like with what hair? No, he's <laughs> not bald yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally kidding. I'm sorry. Rachel's love him dad. to I death. Love him. Oh, he's um, the best. Yeah, they can hear both of us fine, they say. Wow. Well, then we'll just use this heat tool more because, guys, clearly speeds up the process. Um, and you're going to see, you know, is this a craft fail or not? It's kind of the fun of the live stream. Typically, if we're giving you recommendations, we're not going to tell you to, oh, you know, make this craft in an hour and paint and then use a heat gun. But since we're testing it and we want to give you guys the truest statement, we're just going to do it live for you. So yeah, that's just what we, it's all. We, we don't want to limit ourselves or our crafting. So we're just going to test the limits. Yeah. Do normal ones that are, should be done in like two hours in an hour for you guys. Right. Because we're um, dedicated. <clears throat> exactly. And Tammy says, is that a craft heat gun? Yes, it's for heat embossing. So if there's any paper crafters out in the world, this heat gun has been with me for since 2010. So nine years. Um, I got it around the time I started my YouTube channel. I've probably had it for nine years by now. Yeah, and um, she's still going. Let me tell you, I have amazing. absolutely no idea what that thing's for. I don't know what embossing is. Ooh, do you not? Can I quickly explain it to she, you? Yeah, I would love okay. to know. So, Rachel. Now, you remember, I used to be, I used to have a rubber Mr. stamp Mr. Cricket line. Crazy. Yes, yes, Tanner Bell Designs. Yes, um, oh yeah. Anyway, I used to have a stamp line, which I loved. Um, but there's this technique. You can stamp with an ink pad, which is great. But, Rachel, yes. if you used a heat embossing um, tool... Well, yes, if you had the heat embossing tool and you yeah. had the powder, okay. you would powder. use... Powder, oh gosh. Yes, 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 listen, listen, follow with me. Okay, Stick I'm coming with, I'm with okay, you. Okay, Did I totally cut off the V? I got really close. I don't oh, think I so. I totally cut off the V. That's okay. That's okay. We're okay. rolling with it. Yeah. Um, anyway, so you would use this like glue, I'm mm -hmm. going to call it. It's not technically called glue. And does it have to be like heated dry or something? Um, right. So you stamp with this glue, okay. per se, mm -hmm. and then you... Put your powder on top of the glue. What? Shake it off. What? Yes, you would use a dryer sheet to remove the static. From Are you the paper kidding me? Before you, yeah, it was a. It's a technique. It's a process. A dryer sheet. Yeah, any any get the project static that off. involves a dryer sheet <laughs> is over my head. No, Rachel, it was a process, and that's why you have to have this super warm embossing heat tool from the paper studio like probably one of the look at the paint on that ones. thing she has been through the ringer i've had it for nine years look at that thing tanner nine it's a rainbow years i i whip <clears throat> that thing out all the time Listen, if, if i'm in a hurry if we got a deadline we just <laughs> whip that tool out paper studio has been great so people may be like oh paper studio is generic well listen, it's lasted nine generic's years. great for me so anyway we are going to go over here and I'm going to turn on our mini easy press. We're going to do 330 today. Um, but if you are curious about what temperature to do what with, pull out your Cricut printable guide. So if you're not a member, this is another great selling point. And no, you can't buy this outright. You we have to be a member. We do not offer this. We do not offer our cut files to people that are not a member. We do not offer our fonts to people that are not a member. That's why you've got to be a member to get all this, this crafty fun. Listen, we work really hard to make the best products for you guys and only offer it to our members. So um, the printable guide is one that I just love. And in here we have a really great little easy press temperature sheet cheat sheet chart. Wow. Wow. Say it five times fast. Can't. <laughs> um, and it lets you know the exact temperature for the material you're using iron on, on canvas, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and they have tips for everything. So print and cut, iron on, vinyl, um, what blade to use, which map to use, which I love. Did I miss it? Yeah. And you have to weed the center of the E before all of our viewers drop dead. Thank so, you. But listen, they're the best at telling us that. Oh my gosh. We never see amazing. it and they're all like, weed it, weed it, weed it. Because guys, I don't know if you know this or not. I wish I was talking to you all when I weeded mine. <laughs> I, I forgot to weed it. Did you? Yeah, you can see it. I forgot to weed it. What did you forget to weed? 
Oh, that little thing. Did uh -huh. I get mine? I didn't get mine out either. See? What would we do without our crafty ladies oh and gentlemen? Gosh. We would not be that. able to finish a project correctly. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Okay. So we're at um, preheated to 325. What we're going to do now is get our mini Easy Press mat and our adorable painted frame right here or canvas. Now, guys, if you're just tuning in with us, we are making a reverse canvas today. We've made this chalkboard. This isn't just any it. reverse canvas, guys. It's a chalkboard no, reverse canvas. It's a chalkboard reverse canvas. So notice what I'm doing here is I'm taking this and making sure it'll still line up perfect. So we may want to... You still didn't do the E. What? Oh, I, I had two E's missing. Oh, my, oh my goodness gosh. gracious. <laughs> totally forgot, guys. Look look at him go. Look at go, us. Tanner, go. Look at us go. You got this. Here, let me get this piece out of the way. And let's see here. We're all over the place. Esther said that cheat sheet is a lifesaver. Oh, yay. So, yes, it's only available to members, so just be sure to remember that. Denise says, I always get phone calls during live. Miss most of it. Denise, turn that thing on. Do not disturb. <laughs> this is your crafty time for the day. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So now, after we've positioned this down, we are going to take our Easy Press, our mini Easy Press. It's okay. Uh, what? Are, are you on your Easy Press mat? Yeah, I'm on my okay. Easy Press mat, girl. Like, Look at this. I was like, Easy is he straight on the table? Okay. Yeah. So we're going to apply a little pressure. Now, you want to be careful because it is paint. Um, I would use a backing sheet. Like, if a Teflon sheet would be coming in handy right now. I can get you some parchment paper if it's you okay. like. Oh, oh, look. It's just a little smoky. Look, so we're, we're gonna, cooking. We're going to see how this is going on. It's not going on too well. Um, I think I need to heat it more, but I do need the more scrap pressure. piece. More pressure. I need more pressure. pressure, but I need that scrap piece of fabric like I've been using. A fabric? Um, yeah. So oh, look at it smoking. <laughs> Rachel, oh, Rachel. This so we're going to use a little scrap piece of fabric. Oh, it's so, flamingo. Who doesn't want to have a flamingo? That's from Walmart, guys. It's a very good investment, those little bitty sheets if you're a sewist. Yeah, and you can get these really cheap. Trisha says, nothing interrupts my maker's going to learn. Time. Oh, my gosh. I love it. How many people do we have hanging out with us? 241. Thanks, guys. We love hanging out with you. We're also cooking. Shh. <laughs> I'm totally fine. It's no, fun. it's totally fine. Yeah. It, it, my, mine smoked, too. So, yeah, we're just applying pressure. The fabric or the Teflon sheet would come in really handy now. Like we're okay, 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 okay. Where the heck do you buy a Teflon sheet? Rachel, we're I not just sure. Know. We're not okay. sure. Okay? We don't even own one. I want to know where to get one. I don't even know what one. Oh, my gosh. Look at how great this is. No, not great. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> we Abort lied. mission. And these are cool, Tanner. Rachel, I'm so you impatient. You and Courtney are so impatient. I you should have seen Courtney the, the other day. As soon as that heat press came off, boom, she was peeling it off. Listen. It says warm peel for a reason, people. Not hot peel. Warm peel. I know. I know. Warm peel. No, you don't need to hit it longer. You I, just need to let it cool. I just get impatient. Okay, well, let it. Let okay, it we're going to let it. We're going to let it Pick happen. it up and, let you know, air it yeah, out. Yeah, okay. There you go. This is Jeez. good. What kind of paint mm. just tuned in? This is chalky paint, guys. Oh, no, not chalky. Chalkboard paint. Right. So one of the reasons I'm a little nervous about this project is just because I have a conference call at three. So I was like trying to hustle, but I just need to calm down. And if I'm a few minutes late, they're going to have to. Understand. It's okay. It's okay. Tanner. <laughs> well, again, nothing interrupts makers in a learn time. Okay. Exactly not. See what cooling down oh does. Oh my gosh. Look at Look. this technique. Beautiful. And guys, this is paint. Like we painted this. Yes, as you it's can chalkboard see. paint. It's awesome. Exactly. And everyone is saying you can get Teflon sheets for under fifteen dollars on Amazon. Somebody $15? drop us a link. Drop us a link, guys. What is a Teflon sheet? We'll never know. Listen, I don't know. Somebody's got to let me thick. know at some point. Give us a link, guys, Aww. to to your favorite Teflon sheet. Drop yes, let link. us know. So now we're lining this up. Now notice my V. I totally cut it off. We're not perfect. Do you see the difference here? I used my craft knife while I was talking to you guys, snapped it off on accident. But you guys know I have the most best intentions for you guys. So now we align it like we want it. We flip it over. Loving that yellow though. Oh my gosh, the yellow is everything. Tanner's gonna get his favorite. This is my arrow favorite. fastener. So many questions gun. about this exact uh, tool. It's amazing. So be sure to get one for yourself. And then we, we just can't start see what going. you're doing, but now we can. Yay. How so, many staples per this? side? Yeah. So I'm going to zoom out. Make there it a little you go. Louder. Um, I like to let's just figure it out. So it's always good to do one on each in the middle. I love Tanner's technique. Yeah, this is great. He's a master. And you kind of just keep pulling it tight, um, you know, as you're going. 
Just like so. And you do, it looks like Tanner is putting a lot of pressure, but you don't have to. You, this I'm thing not. is easy peasy. I promise you guys, I'm not. I, I love not. using this thing. You I barely have to press down. It does like all the work for you. It, does, it really does. And then here's a great tip. The corners, I like to have tight corners. So this is what I kind of do. I do oh, yeah, these. angle it. I angle it, it because it's really helpful than having to do two. And Elizabeth wants to know, would this be acrylic chalkboard paint? Uh, um, just for everyone wondering, here it is. It's a multi-surface uh, chalkboard yep. paint. And where did we it's get from it Plaid. from? I think we picked ours up at Walmart. Mm -hmm. um, dishwasher safe after like 28 days. So that's after like one. 20. Yeah, Tanner burst in my bubble about that a while ago. He was like, you know that has to set for like 28 days. And I was like, what? Yeah, there's something about curing with yeah, paint yeah. stuff. It's a whole process. So anyway, um, uh, Madeline says we can get Teflon sheets at Joann's. Oh, cool. So anyway, after you've stapled however many times you feel, I just like to pick it up and turn it over and be like, okay, how's this look? Look and how cute. It looks adorable. But look at all these edges. we got to clean these up. Yep. So now if anyone has been with us since the beginning of the show, remember when we had, you know, all of these staples on the back of our canvas, we're going to repeat that same process. Just going around. Yep, we're just stabbing and cutting and stabbing and cutting. Does the Easy Press melt the paint? No, it that it got a little smoky, which you guys got to watch. But even then, it didn't melt the paint. But that's why you want to have a Teflon sheet, a scrap piece of fabric. And I promise you, it would not smoke if if the paint was dry for like a couple hours. I wouldn't say you're think. so dry. But it's because we're doing this live for you guys, so we're you're just gonna have to, to bear with the little smoke. Get cooking fast. with us. Yeah, we're gonna see how fast we can make this. And notice, even with all these other staples, some people have left comments being like, Tanner, you know, these other staples messed up my project. Clearly, just be, I mean, you just kind of fill it out and you don't have to rip those off because if you did have to rip those off, that'd be too much work. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of people are dropping their links to the Teflon sheets. Thank you Yay! all. We're going to buy some. Yeah, we need to test those Teflon sheets we out, do, Rachel. We do, we do. For the people. Really. For the people. And for us. And for, definitely. for our own crafty reasons. Definitely. <gasps> All right, guys. Oh, here hang on, let me switch. Our verse of the week. We have two awesome ones. So adorable. I wish I did not cut off my V. But again, if you have a Maker's Gonna Learn membership, head on over, grab that verse of the week cut file out of our home collection. There's so many great files in the home collection. You are bound to find something really fun to make a reverse canvas with. I hope a lot of you have been able to understand the reverse um, canvas concept. It's a very fun process. You're bound to enjoy something and really understand how to make it. What do we think? Everyone loves it. Tanner. I love it. It's so, so much cute. fun. So awesome and really easy to make your own verse of the week canvas yes. really easy. Everyone says it's beautiful. They love the colors. Yay! I think it's super cute. And that's all we love is that you all are happy. If you all are happy, we're happy. <laughs> exactly. So guys, it is National Craft Month. I know you've heard us talk about it throughout the live stream but we do want to extend one last time our 20% offer to you to get a discount on our membership because we would love to have you guys attend the summit and get $50 off if you would like to attend. If you're um, a member, that'd be awesome. If you're a yes. member, you get $50 off registration for the spring summit, but also it's the best time to join to get access to our fonts if you want a year membership, our bonus training courses. Like Mary talked about, she feels overwhelmed with her machine and yes. she needs someone to help guide her. If you get a year membership, we have a course all on the Cricut Maker for free with a year membership, as well as a course on design space. And third of all, if you're a crafter that's like been around the block with Cricut, you're going to love our build a business course, which is phenomenal for year members only. So lots and lots of value. And here's how you get access to that. So let's switch right here. You might need to tighten her in, yeah. yeah. So anyway, guys, um, right here, you can click this first link down below. We're gonna open that in Safari. And people are asking what we use to hang these this up. Yeah. I love- uh, Command strips. Yeah, command strips are awesome. They're super lightweight for the verse canvas too. So I highly recommend that. But here we go. Um, 
you know, see here, join for National Craft Month, 20% off special. If you know you want that year membership, and again, this is the gift that keeps on giving so that you're a member for an entire year um, and not having to worry about it, that's going to give you over 300 fonts over the course of the year. That's going to give you access to all of our digital cut files, our 700 plus library of cut files that we have now, but all of the ones we're releasing every single month for a year, such great value. But you can also read about what we have to offer and you can see our pricing structure. And these prices already have 20% off, so you do not have to you know, do anything special, um, you know, anything like that. Rachel, what's the blue thing? I just looked at that. I'm so confused. What? It says Lana Man. It uh -huh. says 199 <gasps> and it's a question. It says, how do you become a member? Did she donate that to us? I think I she donated know. that to us. Well, Lana Brown, thank you for the Lana $1. Man. Lana, Lana Man. Lana Man, I'm yes. sorry. Um, thank you for the $1.99. You can become a member at the first link down below. Yes, with our little confetti. Yes, click the special link in the 20 description. 20% off, Miss Lana. Yes, thank you so much for that. You're so sweet. First person to ever do that. How adorable. Is that what that thank is? You. Yeah, I, I think, was so confused. I think so. I'm not sure. Maybe she didn't mean to. Maybe she didn't mean to. Let us know. Um, but anyway, these already have 20% off. So this is normally $19.99 a month. This is normally $15.99 a month billed annually. And this is normally $17.99 a month billed annually. And with this year membership, you know, it's the best economical value. So you're getting this bonus um, of 20% off grandfathered in. Plus you are getting three months free compared to being a monthly member for a year. And remember, if you're a yearly member, you get access whoops, to the fonts, you get access to the bonus courses all for free. So you're getting a better value um, for being a year member um, economically and from the aspect of value wise. So you want to remember that we do segment these two tiers. They're a little different. Um, so if you do you know, choose to go yearly or any tier, you'll come to this page and you can subscribe using a debit or credit card by clicking the gray button if you don't have a PayPal account already, or if you already have a PayPal account, just click this yellow button. It will um, submit your payment information. Then you're gonna instantly create an account so that you can start getting crafty with us. So Rachel, what kind of questions do we have? I'm just so excited. What a great project for I know, Monday. It, it was an awesome this project. This has been so much fun. And uh, we have a couple of people asking, would it be best to use normal chalk or chalk pens for this? So I would condition it. I didn't get to talk about it. Condition with chalk, but if you do want to use chalk pens, I'm not writing on mine today because you don't want to see my handwriting, but I would use these Marvi Uchida um chalk paint pens. oh they're epic they're amazing we you're gonna love, love these we got yes. these easter colors you want to show them real quick oh yeah look, look at these easter they're colors they're super cute they're so adorable love them they're perfect and they're great for you know they're just like pastel yeah. just yeah, pastel really colors great. so they're i love super, these super, cute. super super fun and let's see um you get to drink hmm. the water Any what's other the questions? easiest way to remove the chalk Ooh, um a wet of damp i'm not gonna say wet a wet paper towel works great for me. A light baby wipe, something like that works yeah, great for yeah. our project. You don't need to like soak it mm -hmm. or anything, mm -hmm. but yeah, it, and it's super easy. Yeah, any other questions? Um, Can you guys come up with something else chalkboard vinyl in the future? Girl, we got you. We got you covered. Yes. We will be working up some really fun projects for the spring and fall. Excuse me, not fall. Well, probably that, yeah. probably that too. Yeah, <laughs> eventually. <laughs> Definitely. But that's all we've got. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Be sure to take advantage of that 20% off for National Craft Month. We'll be back here tomorrow with another new project. And we are so excited. Um, again, thank you to all of our existing members for hanging out with us. If you're brand new here, again, thank you for 59,000 YouTube subscribers. We love our crafty community. And today's video that's being published at 5 p.m. Eastern. You guys are in for a treat. Should we tell them? I'm Which not telling one is you guys. It? Rachel doesn't even know. Well, I'm, I probably edited it. I just That's have true. no idea which one is going Rachel, up. we're teaching them how to use the Cricut to write an address on Ooh, books. guys. Yeah. That one is so cool. Me and Tanner learned so much oh during that video. So much We fun. loved watching the Cricut write. It, yeah. it was so, so fun to slap yeah. an envelope on the Cricut. Okay, I won't give it away. Okay. You anyway, all will love it at 5 o'clock. It's a huge question people have been asking yes. me, so we answered it in a video coming out at 5 p.m. Oh, today. Tanner has all the tips and tricks, yeah. guys. So it's a lot of fun. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. If you have any questions, be sure to um, 
post them down below. Send us an email. Our email's linked down below. Um, and we're just super excited. And just thanks for everything, guys. You all are, are the best. So talk to you all later. Bye.